first of all, I got to get your take, Larry, on on the movie, okay. uh, the Russell Crowe uh, movie and the Aronofsky uh, film. What is you, your take on that? Well, Paramount says it's a movie inspired by the biblical story, and that's probably a pretty accurate thing because there's enough difference in the movie that if you're going to expecting something to follow along the, the biblical story, you'll be disappointed or you'll be upset. Um, when I saw it once, one of the times when I saw it, the previews were for a Batman movie and for a Transformer movie. And if you like those, you'll probably like a lot of the scenes in the Noah movie because it gets pretty, there's, there's battles, there's all kinds of exciting things going on. But there's enough difference in the movie from the Bible story to cause real concern. Now, there's some things they get right, too, and so we want to celebrate that. What, what is it that you found a little disappointing, then, in terms of the narrative? Well, the two of the biggest things that I found most disappointing is, number one, the reason for the flood. In the Bible, it says that God saw the wickedness or the evilness of mankind, and he was grieved and made a decision to destroy the earth with a flood. And the Bible says that that was a moral, personal evil. He says there was uh, violence, there was sexual immorality, there was corruption, there was widespread lawlessness. And it says that the people just thought about evil, evil, evil from morning, noon to night. In the movie, however, the evil is described or de as a disrespect for the environment. And the movie is very much of an environmental film. And in saying that, I don't say that we shouldn't respect the environment and we shouldn't help protect it. But the evilness in the movie was people eating animals and destroying the environment. And that's just a totally different thing than what the Bible pictures. Right, that's o almost become the new religion, which is, uh, which is to worship the creation and not the creator. I, I think they call it Gaia, right? They, this uh, worshiping yes. the planet Earth. Yes, in fact, in, in the book of Romans in the New Testament, it talks about people that worship the crea creation rather than the creator. So you're absolutely right. And the second thing is that Noah, in the movie, uh, sees the people that aren't on the ark as being evil and wicked, however he might want to describe that. But then he becomes extremely upset with his son, and I think it's in the uh, an early draft of the movie, he actually hits him. And he's just devastated and realizes, and he says this, he says the, the wickedness is in us as well as out there. Now, that is very biblical, but then he spirals down into almost a psychotic depression. And that gets into some very strange stuff in the movie, because Noah decides that God's purpose for the ark is to save the animals who are described as being innocent. But then when the flood is over, all the people, that is Noah and his family, are to die off and leave a perfect world with animals but no people. And that is just contradictory to what the Bible says. Because, because in the Bible, the ark is a, is a picture of salvation, is a way of restoring the, the human race onto the earth. Right. Uh, yeah, there's definitely that, that sort of sinister uh, aspect of the green agenda there, no question. Um, sort of uh, human-hating, uh, animal-loving... Uh, it is quite disturbing when you sort of scratch beneath the surface of that. Larry Stone is with us, the author of Noah, The Real Story.